Former President Donald Trump is once again holding a news conference and going after his rival, Vice President Kamala Harris. This comes as Harris says she has agreed to two debates with Trump. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. For the second day in a row, former President Donald Trump hammered his opponent on the economy. As a result of Kamala's inflation price hikes, they've cost a typical household a total of $28. His news conference at his New Jersey golf course comes a day before yes. Vice President Kamala Harris is set to deliver her first policy speech to outline her proposals to lower costs, including a federal ban on price gouging by food and grocery industries, which would require congressional approval. Now Kamala is reportedly proposing communist price controls. She wants price controls. And if they worked, I'd go along with it too, but they don't work. Thursday, Vice President Harris and President Biden, in their first joint appearance, touted Medicare's ability to negotiate with pharmaceutical companies in an effort to lower prices on certain prescription drugs, part of the Democratic Past Inflation Reduction Act. Two years ago, as Vice President, I was proud to cast the tie-breaking vote. And she responded to Trump's personal attacks on her. I think I'm entitled to personal attacks. Well, we suggest that the measure of the strength of a leader is based on who you beat down. That's, that's wrong-headed. As the race has tightened, former President Trump is bringing back some old trusted advisors as his campaign reacts to the momentum of Vice President Harris. That includes 2016 campaign manager Corey Lewandowski and former communications director Tim Murtaugh. Corey Lewandowski is coming in. Uh, he'll be, you know, uh, personal envoy. The Harris campaign said Thursday that the vice president has agreed to a second debate at some point in October after the first debate on September 10th. The two sides also say the vice presidential candidates have agreed to a debate on October 1st to air on CBS News. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Most states already have laws against price gouging, but Harris's proposal would be the first federal ban on unnecessarily raising prices.